That's what I'm saying, bro. You know? I disavowed, basically disavowed comfort today. Really? I don't, I don't get any sleep, bro. My base fucking pregnant and she's sick. So I just, like, stay awake, go to work, sit there, and I'm just like, dude, this shit's fucking crazy. Uh, it's pretty, it's not bad, though. For me, I like it. You like I'll, your job. Yeah, I like it. I'm like, dude, comfort is not, comfort. You get out of the house. Exactly. Get out of the house. I go do cool, I, stuff. the stuff I do, I really like, but it's also, like, in my head, I'm like, this whole idea of being, like, last night, I was being a crab. I was kind of like, oh, man, because it's, dude, it, it's a, the worst position. So yeah. when, like, your pregnant bae is keeping you up at night, you just want to sleep so fucking bad. But what, are you, what is it to be like, I'm really tired. So there, you, there's just no room for being a bitch. You just, you cannot be a bitch. Yeah. To be a bitch is to be like, well, I get that you're pregnant and, like, in pain and all, but I'm really tired right now. So, but that's going on inside of you, so oh. you have to just be like, it's all good. It's all good. I, I, well, don't, I don't need sleep. I'm not a bitch. And then you're just not a bitch, and then you're just like, dude, today I, I saw someone... I saw someone at work was like talking to them for like 10 minutes and then went to go get a kid. They had left the room, went to another room. <laughs> I left the room what, thinking I was getting a kid, knocked on the room and it was the same person. I was like, hey, is uh, what's his name in here? And they were just like, no, I'm I'm in session right now. And I was like, oh, yeah, fuck. I forgot you're not a teacher. Okay, bye. Dude, dude I'm <laughs> like out of my fucking mind. Yeah. So tired. Damn. But that, that was pretty funny. I was like, that's hilarious. Yeah. Talk to someone. Like, Sorry, I forgot you in five minutes. And yeah. I just had a whole other conversation with you. <laughs> the, uh, but the not being a bitch thing is very, yeah. Can't be a important. bitch. Well, that's what separates you from a dude that would leave a pregnant wife. True. <laughs> that's all it takes. It's True. just being like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to sleep. Like, this is fucking hard. It starts with sucks. that. It starts with that. Yeah. Be like, I honestly, I get it and all. I should be able to sleep. Yeah. He's like, I should be able to hang that's... out with my friends still. He's like, I should have my own apartment. Look, it's the same thing as a dude standing up in a beer hall and being like, I'm not paying that one tax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it eventually ends with a beheading. For sure. That's how it all started. Or just a hard dodge. Yeah. Hard dodge on the kid, and then you just always hold it like, yeah. you know, oh, come on. Like, yeah, I know him your dad and all, but like, I don't have to be there all the time. Yeah, what are you going to be holding your hand the whole Come on. Families are different now. Yeah. We just, you know. Women are strong. Yeah, families are different. I come see you on holidays. Whatever. That is a sick move. The dads do that. It's just, fucking just wild, believe. dude. Yeah, just it's ditching crazy. your kid. It's crazy. The the results are disastrous. The results aren't great. The results are disastrous. You got to be a real baller to pull that off. <laughs> you got to be a fucking monster. Yeah. You have to be a monster. A lot of times they use the uh, the fact that they're arguing with their bae. Because if you're if you're like you know if you're already having a tough time in a relationship. Chances are you're not going to weather the pregnancy. No. The pregnancy is like... You is it, could, a dude is meta-pregnant with all of his base problems for about nine months. You could plant... You could just fight her constantly. Mm. And then, you, yeah, you could use that as an excuse to the kid. Yeah. Just be like, I wish I, I could be here, but your fucking bitch mom. <sighs> she kept me from talking to you for nine years. And, yeah, you know, I wish I was here. All she, you know, she's just, your bitch mom. Dude, that happens. It. it happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, they do. That. Well, I mean, that's a... If you're willing to leave your kid, you're also willing to make excuses <laughs> on other people, you know. It's so bad. Yeah. It's so bad. It's a bad thing to do and then it, to have a bunch of people kind of defend it a little bit to be like, well, it's it's hard sometimes for people and it's just like, yeah, not nah, dude. It's under it's indef undefendable. Yeah. Undefensible. It's like, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Indefensible to be like, well, who says that it's the best to have both Wait, parents? Are people defending it? There's people who are like, well, stop applying your norms on what a family should be. It's like, look, people don't have to live together, but like ab abandoning no. your children is fucked up. And they're like, well, yeah, the, the, well, it's different. It's just like, dude, it's bad. It's bad news. If anyone's even thinking, of, if you're even thinking about getting divorced, dude, the only acceptable way to you divorce, <laughs> the only way, to, I know, I didn't have kids though. <laughs> True. If I had kids, I would have suffered for 18 years silently, like a lot of the good parents I saw do. Although, no, my, you, you should totally get divorced if you want to get divorced. What you should do, though, only if you get, you should go get a dupe. All divorce things should be like, you should, someone should order you to take your assets and force you to buy a duplex, and you just have to live above or below. And then it's just like a tiny, there's like a constant little, there's like a doggy door for your kid. Yeah. And they can just kind of go up and down. Yeah. And do their thing. Like a fire skate or a fire pole. <laughs> to be a fire Fireman's pole. pole? <laughs> yeah. yeah. A fire pole that can go right down. Yeah. Custody. And then climb up a ladder. Right yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be a bummer though, because then you hear your you hear your lady having fun, dude. That would cause hop down the fire pole and fucking land on her, dude. You'd be like, hop the down the fire, dude. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's your plan is I debunked it immediately. It's a recipe for absolute disaster. Are you serious? That the murders in this country would quadruple. <laughs> No way, dude. All right, think of <laughs> so, think of a divorce where the guy didn't want the divorce, but the wife let, started just fucking someone else sure. and left him, and he still loved her. Yeah. That's a guaranteed murder. It's if he's out laying in bed, dude. and he hears someone fucking her. That's romantic. And there's a fucking fire pole that he can slide down and murder. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Look, that's romantic. I bet nine to five, or you know, <laughs> during the day, he's fine, but you know how those thoughts come in at night. Yeah, it's, it's two in the morning. You're just sitting there. You hear like you hear that creaking. <clears throat> it would have to be every the walls would be like studio foam. It would have to be totally soundproof. True. Totally soundproof. Whew. Yeah, there's some boys that would slide down. Oh, for come sure. Come down dude. and get you. You put on the steel toe boots and just even if you built some sort of hatch, they would just gather that speed down that. <laughs> they would grease that pull up, dude, and fucking come right through yeah. the ceiling. Yeah, there's no stopping. They come through the ceiling like fucking. Who's the guy from Street Fighter? M. Bison, dude. He'd fucking <laughs> shoot down. <laughs> They'd get their ass beat by the guy who's oh, fucking your sure, wife. Dude. That sucks for sure. Yeah, that's true. I mean, again, you'd have. It's to... It's not a good plan. Well, I don't have... like the government forcing people to live anywhere. You know what I mean? That's step one. You get the government out of here. True. Get the government out of here like by government. your own accord. Yeah, it needs man. That was we we were setting up a Saturday, I guess that was. I I was beyond sleep, de- dude. I woke up at one point. I've never reached levels of sleep deprivation like that before. That's gotta be wild. I'm man. good now. Yeah, dude. The the first night we got home, we spazzed and invited everybody over. So like, I didn't sleep the night the four nights before that. And I'm yeah. like, you're just running on adrenaline. You're like, I just want everyone to see this little kid. So like, your family's coming. So I don't sleep at all. And you're supposed to sleep when the baby sleeps. So I'm just wide awake, like, oh, look at the baby sleeping here, passing around. And uh, eventually, like, I crash. And, like, you know, nighttime, the baby wakes up, like, every 35 minutes, dude. It's, like, literally, oh. like, CIA tort. There's a form of CIA torture that is that. Yeah. Where you stand in a box, and they just kind of make you, they hit you with lights every, like, 30 minutes or so. So it's enough, it's enough just to start falling asleep. And then you get kind of, like, shocked. Away. It, it's fucking oh. brutal. So I'm, like beyond levels of sleep deprivation i've ever experienced and britney wakes up i wake up to britney being like oh like all overwhelmed and shit i'm like what, what's the matter she was like i just i finally got her to sleep and and she starts like telling me how like upset she is and i, I was trying as hard as i could to like make sense with my words this is how tired i was yeah and i was like yeah i mean you know this is we're doing a podcast in a recession and i i couldn't i had no control over what i was saying dude <laughs> I had, it, you know when you're slipping off into sleep and you get your you get those thoughts that like kind of flow through your head. I don't want to get all that. Yeah, there was exactly. no filter. When you wake up and just say gibberish. There was that. I was that, oh and I was God. awake though. I was awake, and I knew that I was messing up my words. But I'd be like, I mean, Brittany, you have to understand. Bill and Spud and Shane just did a war room, and she's like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, I'm, I'm, "She's like, go to bed." I was like, "Okay," oh and I passed back out. Dude, Dude, you were you on you had Woodman brain for like a minute. You before, woke up and were like, we're just doing a podcast in a recession <laughs> and all. You don't understand. Like, we gotta, <laughs> that was literally. She was like, "What are you?" And she was getting mad at me. She was like, "I'm trying to talk to you about something serious." And I'm like. I understand. You have to understand what I'm saying, though. And dude, I just kept talking about the cast. And she was like, "Stop!" <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. And I, I had no control over it. My brain. I was in a half dreaming state, but I was awake. And aware of the fact that I couldn't, it was like a schizophrenic person. I would start off making oh sense God. and just make these weird connections and just start like, I would just lose her. And she was just kind of like, that's so funny to have like a distraught bay and just being like, look, there's a recession and the podcast is, we need the podcast, <laughs> which isn't even true. Apparently we're doing well. What is Trump? Trump talk has the economy, dude. Oh dude. The, uh, I forgot. I wanted to talk about this. So apparently, so we, uh, and I learned about this from family class as well. But so apparently when you have a kid, a lot of bays just go f- total control mode on you where what happens is they're just like, they look at you like you're a total incompetent idiot. Cause <laughs> <laughs> like, like dude, it's, were you sitting in class? Like, okay. Oh, it's dude. It's so, f- <laughs> when they described it in class, they're like, what happens is the woman just assumes the husband's totally incapable because dude, it's like when, as soon as this, like you got to start doing the diapers and stuff, it said the kid pointed this out to me. They have like a lifetime of these weird finger skills of just kind of like from like braiding hair and doing weird little like the paper mache fortune teller yeah. cookie cutter things. Yeah. So they're real good at doing these weird <laughs> finger movements. 
And then they're like, you know, holding a baby and ripping the diaper off and you try to help and you're just retarded. Yeah. You're like trying to pull the things in. A lot of times what happens is the girl's like, just let me do it. And then you go like, fine, good. fine. Yeah, good. And then she starts to slowly be like this fucking idiot. Then you start being like, she thinks I'm a fucking idiot. And they just slowly resent each other on and on and on over this thing of just not being able to share the response. She just feels overwhelmed. But she'll also be like, you're an idiot. And you can't do it. So they're describing that in my family class, dude. I'm like, okay, sounds, sounds pretty good. And then we go to the pediatrician. She was like, you have to give him jobs to do. Otherwise, you'll start to hate him. So that's, it's pretty tight. So that's my job now where, like, she feeds the kid. Then I get to burp the kid and lay the kid down and hold the stomach so it falls asleep. But it's like, dude, that's a real – I was looking at that. I'm like, that's a real phenomenon. That, that ruins – if you don't have, like, the shit figured out, yeah. I'm like, dude, it's so easy for the shit to fly off the rails of being like, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. you because you're, you're just totally sleep-deprived. And then it's like, dude, if you're fighting before, the fights are coming, dude. You get, like, a one-day piece. You get an armistice where you're like – Oh, look how cute this baby is. And like three in the morning, it's like, I said, get the fucking, not those wipes. Yeah. Like, Shut the fuck up, dude. It's like, it's crazy. I you can't imagine. Total foot down. Can't imagine. Dude, I'm telling you. You got to knock them around a little. A little bit. A little. Hit the, Shake them. Hit them both. Shake them up. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be like, stop crying <laughs> to both of them. Hit both of them. Hit my wife for my baby. Like, that's for fucking her. I can't. Yeah. Her give it a, pass it on. But yeah, you have to. Like, they'll, they'll instinctively be like, go away, you're retarded. And you have to be like, no, I'm not retarded. It'd be awesome if, like, your pediatrician or the, who are the family class was like, and also if this doesn't work, you men, you do have the right to slap them. <laughs> That's the last, you know, last, you know, worst case scenario. But you could slap them if they're getting. If they're getting a little too boisterous. If, yeah. Yeah, man. Dude, I'm telling it's the funniest thing of just you're a total incompetent moron. In their eyes, and you have to be like, shake them out of it. Like, I, I can, I can do this kind of stuff. Because if most dudes, because I know, can't, I fucking, I babysat my niece once. Yeah, fed her bananas the whole time because I didn't know what they could eat. <laughs> she shit and just shit like a monster, and I couldn't, I couldn't change. Like, I had no idea how to change a diaper. <laughs> well, yeah, with when diapers are brutal. Oh. It's tough, and you got to wipe from the vagina, the vagina away. Yeah, yeah, Which, dude, that was uncomfortable. I didn't like that. It's really weird. Well, when it's not your kid, it's really weird. Yeah. Like I had to watch my I had to watch my neighbor's kid like a while back, and then he peed his diaper, and Brittany just like whipped his pants down. I'm like you gotta pat his penis dry. And I'm like, this isn't my kid. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. I, I can't, man. Yeah, it was my niece, and it was like, yeah, wipe from the, away from the vagina, and I was like, ew. Yeah. Is that what you vagina? called for advice? They told me before they left. Yeah, and there's when it when it and gets I was like ew, and then it happened. Because they were like, yeah, you got to wipe away from it. You don't want shit getting in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, ew. When you have to, like, you're supposed to push down on it and spread it out. And then you can kind of, like. Spread what out? You got to clean the lips out, dude. Ew. Yeah, dude. Ew. You got you to, gotta, like, the doctor was, like, up or in and up. And it's like, boom. Let me see that technique. You, I might need that technique, you, dude. <laughs> for, my, for my beautiful baby girls, dude. Dude, you, you push, you go, push down on it and go up. And it just pops it dude you gotta pop that for a real one dude <laughs> and then you just take the white dude that's the other thing too like ew she'll just wipe her just poof, like and she laughs she's like you like dab and i'm like i don't have a fucking pussy dude yeah. i'm not gonna just gonna i don't know how yeah yeah it's it's, it's bizarre dude it's a weird it's, it's a lady weird... work it's a lady job dude well it's a lady job but then they get over if you give them if you so that was a pediatrician was like due to our total sexist nature you know we're drenched in sexism women think they have to do this and guys are like yeah this is fucking girl work and then the girl just starts to hate you just hate your fucking guts well we're not sexist it's girl work it's good for yeah (laughs) it is but for guys to (laughs) revel it's funny this isn't a great uh take but do you think that's how like they thought about racist they're like it's not racist that's black people work (laughs) (laughs) that just is that (laughs) i was actually there was a movie going on in the house yesterday it was one of those like Black people working for very little bits of money and getting little respect movies. Yeah. I like, walked downstairs and was like, the two of them watching it. And I was like, I'm going to go take a nap. Yeah. Those movies, you they have to, out of there. They, they got to stop making them, dude. They're, they've run their course, dude. Yeah. After Medea went to the moon, they should have stopped making them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, I think they have. They've chilled out on them. They did slow down a little. This summer, black people working this for summer. minimum wage. People being mean. White people yelling at black people. <laughs> the black yeah. people responding totally rationally. I saw I saw Taraji P. Henson just kind of like being like, mm, mm, mm. And I was like, I'm going upstairs. I don't know what this movie is. That's the is, last thing you need. You hear one, mm, yeah. you're out, dude. 
I saw like her just kind of like looking off of the window and leaning out. I was like, I'm out of here. Fuck this. Nothing good's coming. For I you. don't want to see Taraji P. Henson being underpaid right now. People <laughs> 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 being mean to her. But yeah, dude, that's the uh, it's the craziest shit of walking around. It, having a kid is tight, dude. It rules. Sleep, dude. It's not as bad. People are like, oh, how are you sleeping? It's like, if you're not a total pussy, it's not that bad. Yeah. If I'm used to having like out of body. It's, it's like, been one week, dude. True. True. You I'm got still time, walking baby. on sunshine. You got another year of not sleeping, baby. Dude, it's not that bad. Uh, it's been <laughs> only been one week, dude. I don't know. I like. I don't, it. I don't mean to. No, no. Know, Fair bring enough. Bring some rain in here, but I've been. You're calling it early. You're calling victory early. This is your <laughs> this is your mission accomplished, dude. This is W landed on the aircraft carrier, being like, we did it. We did it's it. It's easy and it's fun. I well, this is supposed to be the hardest time when they're like the newborn. It gets easier after that. I'm like, dude. I think people who can't handle psychedelic experiences, I think it freaks them out. Because you, you, dude, you're in an out of body. Like when you're in the hospital, you go through like a weird thing, and then you have the kid, and then you're just like. What the fuck? Your whole life, literally, dude. It's like yeah. everything goes. All my weird hangups, where I'd been like, "Well, what about?" It, it just, it just literally goes away. Yeah, the only thing just you like, care about is the kid. It's yeah, it's bizarre. You, you know, you still have your little quirks in the and podcast. Stuff. Obviously, that's kid, deep I, in your subconscious. When I woke obviously, up, you know, that was first thing. Yeah, first. you weren't like the baby's sick. You were like the podcast could be in trouble because <laughs> of a recession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. All of your weird. Like I was talking to a lady. Uh, I just like I think it was schizophrenic, dude. Her dog, my dogs met her dog. She started telling me her dog was named Prince, and like how her dog and Prince, the singer, had so many similarities, and how like her dog loved being around beautiful women. And I'm like sitting there, like I really like, before I would have been trapped in that conversation for an hour before. Yeah. And literally, you're just sitting there, you're like, I gotta go, goodbye. And it's like <laughs> yeah. I don't have time for this bullshit. It's, it's so fun. It's so bizarre. That could have been this, you know, it could have been Prince. True. How old was the dog? It was an old, it was an older dog. I mean, sick if she was like, the dog loves fentanyl. 